Brachiopods are marine invertebrates similar to clams and mollusks that are comprised of two lamp shells. The soft parts of brachiopods are covered with a shell made of two halves that vary in size and characteristics. The two halves are held together in two distinct ways that led to differentiation of brachiopods into two major groups, articulate brachiopods and the inarticulate brachiopods. In articulate brachiopods, the valves are joined at the posterior end by means of teeth and sockets, while in the inarticulates, muscles join the two halves. Brachiopods feed by filtering tiny food particles from seawater. Most of the space inside the brachiopod shell is occupied by a special organ that acts as a water pumping and filtering device. Brachiopods do not move very much. Most are held to the bottom by a stalk. Brachiopods have little to no locomotive ability, which, class which classifies most of these species as sessile benthic organisms, meaning they cannot move about freely, forcing them to anchor themselves to surfaces once they develop from the embryonic state. This is one characteristic that separates them from a commonly mistaken group, mollusks. To compensate for the survival disadvantage, brachiopods have developed a horseshoe-shaped structure, bearing filters around the mouth to extract food from the surrounding water and soil. This is known as a lophophore. In this filter feeding process, brachiopods absor absorb nutrients and particles using an adapted appendage known as ciliary tentacles. Organisms adapt to better suit themselves for their environment over generations of mutations through offspring. Brachiopods have evolved to survive in shallow waters across the world, leading to unique ways in which they grow and develop in their habitat. They have three living modes. Some species are in faunal, meaning that they build burrows or tubes within the ocean floor. Other species are pseudoplanktic and, and epifaunal, meaning that they attach to surfaces such as other organisms or the ocean floor. Or they find themselves in spaces between sand and sediments where they live their lives. Brachiopods have an extensive fossil record, first appearing in rocks dating back to the early part of the Cambrian period about 541 million years ago. They were extremely abundant during the Paleozoic era, reaching their highest diversity roughly 400 million years ago during the Devonian period. Brachiopods begin life in a larvae state. The planktrophic larvae can be suspended in the ocean column at months at a time, leading to wide-scale migration before they settle on a sedimentary surface also referred to as lampshades due to their unusual shell shapes that resemble that of a lampshade, brachiopods display bilateral symmetry consisting of two shells, the dorsal and ventral valves. Through observations and tests, characteristics like these have been used to classify over 12,000 different species of brachiopods in the fossil record dating back roughly 541 million years ago. Of those, 325 are alive today, spanning over 100 different genera. There's much controversy over how these are categorized. Some choose to look at mineralization while others classify them on features such as having articulate or inarticulate valves. The most abundant species alive today within the taxon are Rhynchenolita and Terebratulita. Brachiopods have separate sexes. They have transient gonads that develop from the peritoneum of the metasoal. Gametes are released through the nephridia. Fertilization is external. In a few species of brachiopods, females pick up sperm from the water, and fertilization is then internal. According to the phylogenetic tree that we built purely based on the morphology of each of these organisms that we saw in lab, mollusks and arthropods are the closest relatives of brachiopods. According to the second phylogenetic tree we observed in lab, this was built on the 16S rRNA genetic sequence of all the creatures observed in class. According to this tree, the closely related relatives are again Arthropoda and Mollusca. However, brachiopods in this tree share a sister clade with Mollusca. Now, as we observe the phylogenetic tree from the literature that was published by the University of Copenhagen, we can see that, based purely on morphology, brachiopods again share, however this time share a sister clade with Foranita, a series of two base worms. 
Well, the molecular structure taken from the 19S rRNA genetic sequence again supports this claim in both clades available in the document. Brachiopods are deuterostomes, and their origin is unknown. However, based on both of our phylogenetic trees and those observed in literature, we hypothesize that brachiopods likely evolved from a gelatinous slug-like ancestor, where a mineralized shell was developed as a means of protection as they began a sedimentary lifestyle. There are two commonly accepted hypotheses for the origin of brachiopods. The formally supported one is called the brachiopod fold hypothesis. This, this suggests that they arose from a eukarya-like organism with two protective shells, one at each end. However, in 2007, the tomatite theory, which is based upon mineralization of the dorsal and ventral shells, suggests that brachiopods evolved from the shortening of a tube-like organism that was covered with many shelled plates.